Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. It's another pickups video. I've got a stack of toys. We've got some video games. We've got a stack of books. And we're going to start with 15 comic book blind bags from WoW Comics in Stockport. They've got a couple of locations. Check them out. Now, last time we ended up with some double ups. I don't mind because they're useful to give away and for the wife to read and so forth. I've tried to grab bags from different points, so hopefully we only end up with a few double ups this time. But I know we're going to get our 15 pounds worth. All right, so just before we open that up, geeks, gamers, sweaties that still live at home in their mum's basement, strap yourselves in because here we go. The first bag is opening. Yep, it looks like it's a double up bag. It's another one of those. But we got a Batman stencil this time. So we've got Flash, Superman, and Batman now. And we've got Champions and Nova and Secret Wars. This one feels different. Feels different. Come on, folks. Let's be nice here. Let's be nice. Come on. Come on. Be different. Be different. Be different. Be different. Yes, we've got something different. We've got something different. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go away. Dark Knight, The Master Race, Dark Knight 3, book one. Fantastic. I haven't read that. Excellent. So we need to make 15 pounds of value. We've got double ups. That's fine. We will make that. This one feels thick and different. Let's see what we got. All right, bag three of 15, bag three of 15. Be a good one, be a good one. All right, this feels nice. This feels nice. What do we got? Oh, oh. Got a little Hulk face, a little bit of a Hulk face. I'm happy with that, that's cool. So Batman stencil, Hulk face. What do we got? Oh, Astonishing Spider-Man 104. So these are the uh, reprint issues which are really cool to read because they've generally got a couple of issues in them. So, Astonishing 104, Essential X-Men 101. Wow, uh, this is where he's got the Scroll team, Professor Xavier's training a new team, and Astonishing Spider-Man 126. Okay, we're making it up. We're making it up. We're doing all right. All right, I feel something in this one too. I feel something here. Let's get that. Oh, another Hulk face. Awesome, awesome. Very cute. All right, bag four. Oh, and we got another one in this one. Couple more. Oh, oh. We got a cap and an Iron Man little face too. These little rubber faces. These are really cool. All right, awesome. Let me check these other bags just in case. Yep, missed a couple in the other ones, another cap. And Iron Man, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Oh, we're doing good, folks. We're doing good here. So we have Central X-Men 95, Central X-Men 120, and Astonishing Spider-Man 80. All right, again, these are the reprint books. This is when Cecilia Reed was part of the X-Men. That's cool. All right, excellent. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're doing good. Next bag. Well, there's the faces are there. I feel the faces again. So let's get them out. Cool. Bunch more of these little guys. They're awesome. They're very cool, actually. All right. Now, keep in mind that each one of these bags is a pound each. So we're doing good. Um, Central X-Men 115, Central X-Men 116, and Astonishing Spider-Man 36. I'm just going to slot these in order now. And that's Ben Riley versus Kane. So happy with that. We're doing good. I think I've pretty much hit my 15 pounds value already. So I'm pretty happy. Some double up books. Here we go. Here we go. Nova Secret. Oh, A Force one. Excellent. So A Force was the women's Avengers team. And this is the blank sketch cover. That is excellent. There is our value. We're doing good, folks. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy so far. What do we got coming up? 
Next. Oh. Oh, nice. Faces. Flesh. And Finn. Okay, so these are published by 2000 AD. Don't know anything about them. That is very cool. Okay, another one here. This one says Team Plus, so this one should be different. Oh, another Dark Knight 3 cover. This one's the black cover. Civil War 2 1 variant cover. That's pretty damn cool, actually. A Nova 1. Yeah, so, so far, just in that pile, I'd say I've got my £15 value, and we've still got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. All right, here we go. Ah, we got double ups again, but that's okay. Oh, Armor Wars. Armor Wars sketch variant. That is cool. And Nova and Secret Wars. So I'm actually planning on opening up a uh, market stall at the end of this year at some point. So all these double up issues will actually come in handy as giveaways. Oh, there's something in here. There's something. That's fairly cool. A little Green Lantern slide puzzle. That's very cool, actually. There we go. There's my pound value out of this bag. And we've got Champions, Nova, Secret Wars 3 this time. That's it's all right. I knew I was going to score a bunch of champions and Novas. I actually said to the guys, I'm probably going to get a bunch more double ups because I've had too good of a run. But that's all good because we always end up getting our money's worth. All right, what do we got? Champions, Nova, and Black. I uh, got into the Galaxy 25, the Black Vortex. Okay, awesome. All right, four left, I think. Last one's hiding, not four left by the looks of it. A Force, Champions Nova, Guardian, all good. Some more for the wife to read as well. All right, uh, Champions Nova, Secret Wars, yeah. Okay, this one's thicker. Let's save that to last because that might be different. Let's second last one, folks. Then we're getting on with the toys and everything else. Oh, definitely some different stuff. Millennium. So this was DC Comics crossover uh, 80s somewhere. Warriors of Plasma, Defiant 1. I've seen this, but I've never read it. And Truth, Red, White, and Black. This was about the first true Captain America. That's an awesome bag. And last one. Come on, folks. Cross your fingers. This one's got to be a good one. This one's got to be a good one. No. Yes! Magneto 3. I love this costume, that X-Force Magneto costume. Secret Origins, Justice League, 35, Justice League International, done, sold. How can you be not happy with the Secret Origins? So that is the blind bags. Let me just quickly pull out some issues for the wife. That one. That one. Yeah, that's right. You can wait. You can just wait. Soak it in, folks. Soak it in. All right, cool. And they're mine, so I will move those over here. All right, let's get on with the pickups. So first up, charity shop pickups. We found this Hulk plushie. He was 150. He is uber coot. He came home with me. This I actually found on the street. Somebody didn't want their Happy Meal toy. So I will take that. Uh, this was 99p. Saw the shell, I knew it had to be a Ninja Turtle, and lo and behold, it is a transforming Raphael thing. It is very, very stiff. There we go. 
Two for a pound, we got a Leo and a Michelangelo, both wearing like weird, like that's a stop sign and that's a, a sewer lid thing, okay. Uh, I think these are 20p each, Yoshi and Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so we've got these three bags. Because each of them had one thing I wanted, so that one obviously is a Yoshi. Pull him out. Roll a Yoshi. Oh, cool, he's a pullback. Uh, this one is a pound. So I wanted the Tom, because that is a very cool little Tom action figure. When's he from? Of course, there's no dates on any. Ah, oh, 2014. Okay. So a few years old. I'll take a Scooby, because Scooby-Doo's cool. Little action figure Scooby. And I don't really care about Ben 10, but it's not a bad looking figure. It's the monkey thing. It's not a bad looking little figure. All right, this bag was two pounds. I don't care about cars. So you're probably wondering why I bought it because I saw something in there that I recognize. Okay. Huh, that's cool. That's actually a cool little Hot Wheels. Is it Hot Wheels? Yeah, Hot Wheels. Okay, I'll keep that. Uh, car, whatever. Yeah. Meh. Aha! Decepticon symbol. So there is a Decepticon in here. There it is. So that is worth it for me. Absolutely. Anytime I can get a Decepticon or a Transformer, I'm in. Okay, lastly, um, I got all of these Doctor Who books, a uh, bunch of hard covers, a bunch of soft covers, there's 13 in total, and they cost me four pence for the 13. So I was pretty happy with that. Now we're on to actual, oh wait, wait, we've got one more charity shop pickup. So these were $1.49 each. Absolutely had to take these. These were um, Disney thermoses for Disney All-Star Resort at Disney World. So there was two of them. They were both in really nice shape. So we were taking them. All right, now on to actual purchases. So this was on sale for five pounds. You're not turning down a Darkwing Duck for five pounds. Let, let's be serious here. Um, not a huge fan of Pops, but it's Darkwing Duck. These are down to 450, so I finally picked up the Starscream. I got the Megatron and Grimlock out of the line. Starscream was the, nah, looks kind of cool enough. Uh, but at 450, I was like, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, these rocked up to the local home bargains for uh, $7.99. We've got the Scott Hall with his NWO shirt, glasses, and whatever in his outsider's outfit. And we got Mankind. By the way, I'm saving the best for last, so don't go anywhere just yet. All right. Um, these are further away. Uh, this was six pounds. Scrooge McDuck. Cool little action figure. Had to get him. All right, we got some charity shop media. Ah. All right, so this was three pounds of stuff in total. Um, now, I don't ever buy CDs, ever. And I had to break that because three for a pound, and no, this isn't, Dookie is not why 
I broke that. This is the one that I got just to make up the three. This is the second one that I saw. Absolutely. But, first one I saw that I was like, oh, god damn, now I have to absolutely get this. Richard Pryor, two-disc anthology, 1968 to 1992. I'm not going to read out what some of this says. But let's just say it's some of the funniest comedy you will ever, ever see. And then also, three for a pound, we got uh, the 10th anniversary edition of The Lawnmower Man. Fifth Element. Inglorious Bastards. Now, this isn't the Tarantino Inglorious Bastards. This is the original Inglorious Bastards with a conversation with Tarantino. So I got that basically for the Q&A with uh, Tarantino. And last three for a pound was Rock of Ages. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it. Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. These Scooby-Doo movies are really good. The old ones are great. The new ones are really good too. And speaking of the new ones, Scooby-Doo and Kiss. Had to get that. It's Kiss. Come on. It's going to be terrible. Okay, second last things. We got some video games on sale. Video games. Hold on. Sip of Pepsi. All right. Um... $19.95. This was $39.99. I'm like, no. $19.95? Oh, yeah. I will definitely get my value out of that. I love pinball games. And on this, we've got uh, new Star Trek, Harley, Mustang, ACDC, which is a great table, Ghostbusters, Last Action Hero is a great table, Starship Troopers is a great table, Believe It or Not is an amazing table, Phantom of the Opera is a great table, and I haven't played some of the other ones. So this should be a lot of fun. This was down to $7.99. Uh, it's a tactical RPG. You move on hexagonal squares. I haven't actually tried it yet, but tactical RPG for $7.99. You, you can't really say no to that. And this was on an excellent sale. So we had to take, for $34.99, the Cars 2 Collector's Edition. So this is, like, way less than half price. And in it you get Season Pass, Japanese Cars Pack, uh, Steelbook, Art Book, uh, McLaren Model Scale Car Thing, a Collector's Edition Box, an eSports Live VIP Pass, and a sticker sheet. Whatever. Game's good. Uh, I played the first Project Cars. I got it for like $5 Australian because no one cared about that um, game at all. And it was fantastic. The only reason that I stopped playing it is because it took up so much hard disk space I had to uninstall it. Chances are, same thing's going to happen with this one. But I'm going to get a lot of fun out of it. I like races. And finally, these are heavy. Ugh. Oh, God damn. So I went to the charity shops, as always. Um, these were £9 each, which even at that price is more than reasonable. Yeah, that, that's a fair price. But me being me, asked, could you do any better if I took all five? They came back with, instead of being £45, let's do 30 I'm like, ah, fine, I'll buy them. So these are the Marvel Premiere hardback. Uh, special edition trades of Ultimate X-Men. We've got volume one, volume two, volume four, great cover. Volume six, and volume seven. And God damn are these heavy. Oh, so heavy. So that is it, folks. That is the pickups for this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be back with some unboxings later on today. I've got a few things that I want to get moving and out of the boxes. Uh, and um, until then, though, don't forget, adventure, excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. 
This is Stooge Club.